Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. Today we're going to talk about parts of speech. Part of speech is a category of words that have similar grammatical properties. We start with a noun. It's a word that names a person, a place, a thing, or a feeling, or idea. For example, we have a heart there that represents love, which is a feeling, or the sun. Is a thing. Proper nouns name a particular person, place, thing, or idea and begin with a capital letter. For example, United States, Jones, and Lowe's. Common nouns do not name a particular person, place, or thing and do not need capitalization. For example, country, month, school, etc. Next word. Pronouns is a word used instead of a noun. It is substitute for a noun. Jim ran the race. He ran it. Other examples, he, him, his, she, her, hers, and it. A verb is the main word in the predicate of a sentence that expresses action or being. Action verbs tell what the subject does. In this case, we have sing. Verb phrases are verbs made up of more than one word. Is studying, for example. Other verbs are called helping or auxiliary verbs, like has, have, be, does, do. Next word, preposition. A word that shows the relationship between a noun and some other word in a sentence. Tip. Any way that you can throw a ball would be a preposition. Up, down, in, out, left, right, through, etc. Adjective. A word that describes or modifies a noun or pronoun. An adjective can change the meaning of a whole sentence. It was a boring day, which is very different than saying it was an exciting day. So adjectives are very important. An adjective can tell what kind, which one, how many, what color, etc. Adverb. A word that describes or modifies a verb, adjective, or another adverb. Adverbs and modified verbs answer how, for example, slowly, were, outside, when, later, or to what extent, thoroughly. So the snake the snail, I'm sorry, moves slowly. Interjection. Wow. A word or words that show feeling. If it stands alone, it is followed by an exclamation point. Like, for example, hey. If it begins a sentence, it is set off by a comma. Well, I never knew that, so you can see we have a comma right there. Well, after well. Conjunction is a word that connects words or groups of words. I'm going to the store and buy the bank. There, the conjunctions is and. Conjunctions work like a bridge. So don't forget the eight parts of speech, which are nouns, pronouns, verbs, prepositions, adjectives, adverbs, interjections. And what's the last one? Ah, I remember, is a conjunction. So if you like the video, or if you have questions about the video, please post them under the lesson. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel, like the video, and share it. Until next time, bye-bye.